Magandang araw mga bata! Welcome to Teacher Marla's Channel kung saan maraming matututunan sa lesson na ating pag-aaralan. Our subject is Mathematics 6 and I'm Teacher Les. Before we start, let's play a game. You need to guess what is the next or the missing figure. Are you ready? What do you think is the next figure? We have an apple, a watermelon, a banana, an apple, and what will be the next figure? Very good! The answer is watermelon. Now, let's have the next set of numbers. We have three 6, a missing number, 12, and 15. What is the third number? Very good! By adding 3 to the previous number, so the third number is 9. For the last set, we have letters. J, M, P, S, what is the next letter? Very good! You need to skip two letters, so the answer is V. How did you find the answer? Okay, by just looking in the order of objects, numbers, or letters, you will be able to know its pattern just like a sequence. And our objectives in today's lesson are to determine the missing terms in a sequence of numbers. Number two is to formulate the rule in finding the end term using different strategies such as looking for a pattern, guessing and checking, working backwards, and to differentiate expressions from equations. Let's define sequence. It is a set of numbers written in a special order by the application of a definite rule. Each number in a sequence is called a term. How to find the missing term in a sequence? So you need to look for a pattern. Let's have an example. Number 1. A, C, E, G, I, and there are two missing terms. So the pattern in this sequence is you need to skip one letter. So the next letters are K and M. Example number 2, 2A, 3B, 4C, and two missing terms. You need to add 1 to the number as well as to the letter. So the answer are 5D and 6E. Third example, C plus D, C plus 2D, C plus 3D. The fourth term is C plus 4D. You need to add 1 to the number besides letter D. Number 4, Z, Y, X, W, V, and there are three missing terms. The letters are written in reverse. So the next term are U, T, and S. For the last example, we have F plus G, 2F plus 2G, 3F plus 3G. So what is the missing term? The fourth term is 4F plus 4G. You need to add 1. How to find the rule in sequence? In finding the rule, we have three process. Number one is by guessing and checking or working backwards. So let's have our first guess. The sequence is 7, 11, 15, 19, and so on. Our guess is 4n plus 1 since the common difference of the sequence is 4. 19 minus 15 is 4, 15 minus 11 is 4, 
11 minus 7 is 4. To check, let's substitute. 4 times 1, so this is the first term. 4 times 1 plus 1 equals 5. This rule is wrong as we check for the first term, which is 7, because it is lower than the given first term. For the second guess, we have 4n minus 2. To check, let's substitute. 4 times 1 minus 2. Since we are looking for the first term, we substitute letter n with number 1. 4 times 1 minus 2 is equal to 2. This is lower than the first term. So the rule is still wrong. For the third guess, we have 4n plus 3. To check, we need to substitute. 4 times 1 or the first term plus 3 is equal to 7. 4 times 2 for the second term, plus 3 is equal to 11. 4 times 3, third term, plus 3 is equal to 15. 4 times 4, fourth term, plus 3 is equal to 19. The rule applies to all the term. So the nth rule for this sequence is 4n plus 3. The second process is by looking for a pattern. On the left side are the sequence and on the right side is the next three terms. Number 1, y, y squared, y cubed, y raised to 4. So the next three terms are y raised to 5, y raised to 6, and y raised to 7. The pattern is adding 1 to the exponent. Number 2, a, 2b, 3c, 4d. The next three terms are 5e, 6f, and 7g. The pattern is adding 1 to the numbers and letters. Number 3, a, a plus b, a plus 2b. So the next three terms are a plus 3b, a plus 4b, and a plus 5b. The pattern is add 1 to the number besides letter b. Third process is by formulating the rule in finding the nth term. The sequence is 3, 8, 13, 18, 23, and so on. What is the 100th term? 1,000th term. It will take time if we will list all the numbers up to 100th term or up to 1,000th term. The easiest way is to formulate the rule. Example, the sequence is 3, 8, 13, 18, 23, and so on. You need to write the term number and the sequence using a table. So the first term is 3, the second term is 8, the third term is 13, fourth term is 18, and the fifth term is 23. Next, you need to find the common difference. 23 minus 18 is equal to 5. 18 minus 13 is equal to 5. 13 minus 8 is equal to 5. 8 minus 3 is equal to 5. The difference between each number is 5. So the rule will start with 5n. Next is 5n as a sequence is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. We have 3, 8, 13, 18, 23. This is the sequence. To get the numbers we need, we have to subtract 2. So 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. 10 minus 2 is equal to 8. 15 minus 2 is equal to 13. 20 minus 2 is equal to 18. 25 minus 2 is equal to 23. This means the rule is 5n minus 2. To check if the rule is correct, we will substitute the formula with the number of term. In sequence 3, 8, 13, 18, 23, the rule is 5n minus 2. For the first term, 5n minus 2. Substitute n with number 1. 5 times 1 minus 2. 
is equal to 3. This is the first term. Second term, 5n minus 2. 5 times 2 minus 2 is equal to 8. This is the second term. Third term, 5 times 3 minus 2. This is the third term. For the fourth term, 5 times 4 minus 2. The answer is 18. For the fifth term, 5 times 5 minus 2. The answer is 23. The rule applies to all the terms. So the nth rule for this sequence is 5n minus 2. To find the 100 term, substitute letter n with 100. 5 times 100 minus 2. The answer is 498. Therefore, the 100 term of the sequence 3, 8, 13, 18, 23 is 498. For another example, we have the sequence 6, 13, 20, 27, and so on. So you need to write the term number and the sequence using a table. So the first term is 6, second term is 13, third term is 20, and then the fourth term is 27. So the next step is to find the common difference. 27 minus 20 is equal to 7. 20 minus 13 is equal to 7. 13 minus 6 is equal to 7. So therefore, the difference between each number is 7. So the rule for the nth term will start with 7n. Next is 7 as a sequence is 7, 14, 21, and 28. We have the sequence 6, 13, 20, and 27. To get the numbers we need, we have to subtract 1. So 7 minus 1 is equal to 6. 14 minus 1 is equal to 13. 21 minus 1 is equal to 20. 28 minus 1 is equal to 27. Therefore, the rule is 7n minus 1. To check if the rule is correct, we will substitute the formula with the numbers of term. In sequence 6, 13, 20, 27, the rule is 7n minus 1. For the first term, we need to substitute it with 1. So 7 times 1 minus 1. 7 times 1 is equal to 7 minus 1 is equal to 6. For the second term, 7 times 2 minus 1. 7 times 2 is equal to 14 minus 1 is equal to 13. For the third term, 7 minus 7 times 3 minus 1. So 7 times 3 is 21 minus 1 is equal to 20. And for the fourth term, 7 times 4 minus 1. The answer is 27. Since the rule applies to all the term, so the nth rule for this sequence is 7n minus 1. Another example is 5, 7, 9, 11, and so on. So you need to write the term number and the sequence using a table. So the first term is 5, second term is 7, third term is 9, fourth term is 11. Next is find the common difference of the sequence. 11 minus 9 is equal to 2, 9 minus 7 is 2, 7 minus 5 is 2. So the difference between each number is 2. So the rule for the nth term will start with 2n. Next is 2n as a sequence is 2, 4, 6, 8. So we have the sequence 5, 7, 9, and 11. To get the numbers we need, we have to add 3. So 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. 4 plus 3 is equal to 7. 6 plus 3 is equal to 9. 8 plus 3 is equal to 11. Therefore, the rule is 2n plus 3. To check if the rule is correct, we will substitute the formula with the number of term. In sequence 5, 7, 9, 11, the rule is 
2n plus 3. So, the first term is 2 times 1 plus 3 is equal to 5. For the second term, 2 times 2 plus 3 is equal to 7. And for the third term, 2 times 3 plus 3 is equal to 9. And for the fourth term, 2 times 4 plus 3 is equal to 11. The rule applies to all the term. So the end rule for this sequence is 2n plus 3. Remember, how do we find the next term in a sequence? So we have three process. Number one, by guessing and checking or working backwards. Second is by looking for a pattern. And the last process is by formulating the rule. Now, let's differentiate expression and equation. When we say expression, it is a mathematical phrase that combines numbers, variables, and operations to show its value. Equation is a mathematical statement wherein two expressions are set equal. Expression is simplified through evaluation where we substitute values in place of variables. Equation is to be solved. Expression has no relation symbol, while equation has an equal sign. So these are the examples of expression. 7x minus 2 times the quantity of 3x plus 14, 2m plus 3n, 5w plus 2x minus 3y, and for the examples of equation, 7x minus 5 equals 19, 4a plus 3a equals 7a, 2x plus y equals 4x minus 2y. And that's the end of our lesson for today. Thank you for watching. I'm Teacher Les. And if you learned in our discussion, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell for you to be updated in our next lesson.